it's fascinating to look at industries who have turned themselves around with, with what I would call effective PR. Now, I don't know what you feel about it, but you know, I've watched Anna Bly, you know, the ex-Queensland Premier. She's now head of the Australian Banking Association. Yeah. So she's consistently for the last couple of years been the person who's been trotted out to try to, you know, deal with, to deal with the crises. And I just picked up over a period of time that because of being a politician, an effective politician, you know, she's got highly skilled in terms of her messaging. Her messaging is always consistent. It's always articulate. Um, and in a way, I think she's, yeah, can take a lot of credit for restoring some confidence in, in the reputation of, of, our, of our banks because, you know, it was pretty poor before. And it just, she just is just one example that springs straight to mind as someone who I think is, you know, you could point to and say, boy, oh, geez, you know, there's good, there's some decent communication skills there. And that is an important point because your spokesperson is so important. So the banking sector did very well to bring in a seasoned politician that has weathered, well, she was kind of schooled under BT in terms of issues management. And he was the absolute guru of mess up, fess up. So yeah. that was his crisis approach. So whenever there was an issue, the moment you learn there was an issue, he'd already apologised and had a 10 point plan on how to fix it. And that's, that is the, the 10 odd years of government or longer that, that, he, that he ran the show. And then Anna came through and she, she was led us through some pretty big natural disasters. She can stand in front of a pack and deliver a message without flinching. And that's because she knows that when you have a problem, bring the solution when you're going to stand up there. And um, her messages are impeccable. Yeah, no, but having a good spokesperson like that's important. If you have someone who ums and ahs and can't make eye contact and um, all those trust alarm bells that you would have in any interaction with someone like that would go off.